Hi, in this video I will talk about linear transformation. A digital image is the set of all points inside a rectangle over a 2D grid. An image point is called pixel, meaning picture element. For a grayscale image, each pixel holds brightness value. For a color image, each pixel holds red, green and blue values. A geometric image transformation simply moves pixels over the grid, computing new coordinates for each pixel. Pixel location is denoted as a 2D vector. X is column coordinate. And Y is row coordinate. So transformation T takes 2D input vector and produces 2D output vector. Transformation T is linear if it meets the following three conditions. Here P1 and P2 are vectors, C is a constant. For a linear transformation, summing two vectors before and after transformation give the same result. Scaling a vector before and after transformation give the same result. And linear transformation does not change origin. Condition 3 is a direct consequence of condition 2 when C is 0. A linear transformation is implemented as matrix vector product. T of P is equal to A times P. Here A is the transformation matrix. It can be expressed as matrix equation. Transformation matrix A Input vector P And output vector P prime The 2D linear transform is controlled with four parameters, also called four degrees of freedom. Transformed coordinates are linear combinations of entries of A. And zero vector, origin, is mapped to zero vector. This equation can also be expressed in this form. From this equation it can be seen that the columns of A are the basis vectors of transformed vector space. If transformation matrix is identity matrix, These are the standard basis vectors. If transformation matrix is this one, horizontal basis vector is scaled by 2, which means image is scaled by 2 in horizontal direction. Sequential application of multiple linear transformations is again a linear transformation. This is T1. 
and this is T2. Any linear transformation T3 can be defined as sequential applications of T1 and T2. Multiplying transformation matrices B and A, we get a new transformation matrix C. Note that order of transformation is important. B times A is not equal to A times B. As a side note, in neural networks, layer output passes through nonlinear activation function. Because if nonlinearities are not used, linear layers collapse into a single linear layer. To learn more about neural networks, you may refer to How Does Neural Network Learn video on my channel. Now let's get back to the subject of this video. Linear transformation preserves lines and ratio of lengths over each line. Linear transformation may not preserve angles and lengths. Parallel lines remain parallel. For linear transformation examples, you may refer to image rotation, image shear, image scaling, and image flip videos on my channel. And that's all for this video. See you next time.